Hey everyone, Sam here from Sugar Spun Run, and today I'll be showing you how to make peanut butter fudge. I tested so many variations of this recipe before finally settling on this perfect version of peanut butter fudge. I think you guys are going to love how creamy, delicious, and relatively simple it is to make this recipe. You are going to need a candy thermometer for this recipe, and it's important that you get all of your ingredients out before you begin. Once your fudge reaches a certain temperature on the stovetop, you're going to have to move really quickly. So having everything you need right there and already measured out is really important. The first thing that you're going to need is two cups of granulated sugar. And we can go ahead and add this into our medium sized saucepan. You're also going to need two thirds cup of evaporated milk. Now make sure you shake that can really well before measuring out your milk. Add this into the pan with your sugar. Now before we start cooking our milk and our sugar mixture together, you're going to need to get your other ingredients ready. You will need three quarters cups of creamy peanut butter, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, and I like mine to be softened to room temperature, it's just going to make things easier when we go to start into our fudge, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and a half teaspoon of salt. You're also going to want a wooden spoon, this is going to make stirring everything together easy. The wooden spoon won't conduct heat, so you won't burn your hand when you're stirring your hot fudge. And as I mentioned, you will need a candy thermometer. You don't need to have a digital candy thermometer, but I really recommend one. I found this to be the easiest kind to use. This is a pretty inexpensive one that I really like. I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you wanna use one as well. Now we're not going to attach this to our pan just yet, but keep it nearby. And one more thing you'll want to have ready before you begin is you are going to need to prepare the pan that you'll pour your fudge into. Now you can use an eight x eight pan or a nine x five bread pan also works really well, but the smaller your pan is, the thicker your fudge is going to be. And I like a pretty thick fudge. So what I have here is a small about five by six inch pan and I've lined mine with wax paper You can line yours with either wax paper or parchment paper Just have that ready and have that sitting on the side for when your fudge is ready to pour So now that we have everything prepped we can start cooking our sugar and our evaporated milk Use your wooden spoon to give everything a nice stir and we're going to cook this on medium heat until it begins to come to a boil We'll stir this occasionally while we're waiting for it to boil now, as you can see, we have some sugar crystals, some just sugar grains that have kind of accumulated on the side of the pot just from stirring. I don't want these to turn into sugar crystals and give us a grainy fudge, so I'm just going to use a lightly moistened pastry brush and just kind of wash those down. Now, once this mixture does start to bubble, we will attach our candy thermometer. One important thing to keep in mind is you do not want the bottom or the point of your candy thermometer to be touching the bottom of the saucepan. That's going to make it read a much higher temperature than the liquid actually is. So try to get this in the middle of your liquid mixture if you can. Now we'll stir this mixture occasionally. You don't need to stir it nonstop, but I do like to stir it pretty frequently. And we're going to cook it until it reaches a temperature of 234 to 236 degrees Fahrenheit. Now remember we have this over medium heat. Don't crank up that heat to speed up the process. It's going to take a while. It can take longer than 10 minutes, but patience is key. Slow and steady on medium heat until it reaches the desired temperature. Now, once our fudge hits that 234 to 236 degree Fahrenheit range, we are going to remove it from heat and we're going to add in those ingredients that we set aside earlier. So we'll add in our peanut butter, our butter, our vanilla extract, and our salt. Now give everything a good stir and we're going to stir until our butter is completely melted and completely combined with the rest of the ingredients. It should be a smooth peanut buttery mixture and as you can see, I'm not scraping the sides of my pot while I'm doing this. We could have some sugar crystals that developed in the side that could make our fudge grainy. So we're staying away from the sides. This mixture should be smooth and it should be starting to thicken. Now that this is looking pretty good, we're going to pour this into our prepared pan. Now all that's left to do is let your peanut butter fudge cool completely. It may need to cool for several hours until it's completely set and you can speed up this process by sticking it in the fridge. That'll make things move along a little bit faster. Once it's cooled completely, now we can cut it up into pieces and serve. And that is how you make peanut butter fudge. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I hope you found the video to be helpful. And if you try it out, please let me know what you think of it. I always love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.